Hi, in the previous tutorial where I showed you how to make the round dish scrubbies, um, I showed you how I made it with spool and we used the whole width of the six inch tool spool here that I got at Walmart. And sometimes you do want to have three inch strips so then if you do, you would just cut it in half. If you wanted to work with two inch strips, then you would just cut it into three sections. So let me go ahead and show you how I do that because when you cut tool, you kind of want to wind it up as you go. So what I do is I get this little black basket. Um, they come in different colors too. I just happen to have a set of black. Um, the plastic, you can get them at Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Walmart. Um, I got mine at the Dollar Store. And they do have them in white as well. Um, but this is the one that I had picked up a whole set of. And I find them very handy because they fit perfect. The spool of tool fits right in there. And then you just set it up like that, and then that way you can cut your tool as you go along. So what I do is, since I want three inch strips, that's exactly one half of that. And it doesn't have to be an exact, you can just eyeball it. You don't have to measure it, because we're going to crochet with it, so it doesn't have to be exact. So now, as you go along, you want to wind up the ends. And what I do is I use a binder clip to do that. Works perfect. This is the medium size binder clip. A small one would work as well. And I just go ahead and roll them up as I go. Oops, that one's trying to sneak away from me. Okay. And then you just keep continuing to cut along. Okay, that's one way to do it. Another good way to do it is if you happen to have an empty spool, um, you can wind it onto this as you go, instead of using the binder clips. So I always save these empty spools because they come in handy, um, not only for this, but other crafts. You can wind your yarn on it. You can make those um, yarn cakes. You can use them for many different crafts. Um, if you don't have one of these empty, you can even use a paper towel, um, empty paper towel spool. So if you don't want to work with the binder clips and you happen to have one of those, what you do is you take your spool that's empty and you just take the little end, this is how I do it, and tape it on to the spool. And the spools always have like this really sticky part so I would recommend trying to stick, sticking it right there because it sticks very, very well. And then just put a little piece of tape and then take the other one and get that little sticky spot right there and tape that down in place so then I find it real useful if I put this spool into the other basket that way it won't roll onto the floor on you while you're working on it and then you just roll it up as you go along it's a little tricky when you first start but once you get going it rolls up really well there we go so then you don't want to have it right next to each other because you want room to be able to cut it. So then you just keep cutting along and just keep rolling it as you cut. I find this actually easier. The first time, if you don't have an empty spool, that's why I showed you the binder clips because um, if you didn't have anything to wind it onto. But if you, once you have an empty one, this is the easiest way to do it. And you just keep winding as you go. So I, it's very, very easy. See how easy that is? And it keeps it from falling on the ground. So this, these baskets are perfect for this. So that's how I do that when I want to cut them in half. Now, if you did want two inch strips, then you would just cut it in three sections and essentially do the same thing. You just wind it up as you go. And then you can have the thinner strips ready to go for your next project when you want to make a scrubby if you didn't want to use the whole width. And I just wanted to show you that because I was mentioning that when we made the scrubbies in the previous tutorial and I did tell you that how I would show you how I do it and I hope that you found this tutorial helpful today if you did please give it a thumbs up I hope that you will subscribe to my channel that way you'll get a notification when I upload the next tutorial or video and thank you for watching I hope you have a great day